it's a time when we can share. A lot of people will talk to each other about their regalia, their, uh, their traditional dress, and kind of show off a little. My wife made this for me. She included some of my mother's beadwork in it. That makes it very special. This flower is a replica of what my cheetah, my grandmother, had made on a pair of slippers. I started making the sheer aspects with the rounded bottom. I greatly value my native heritage. The design is a bit more modern than like kind of your traditional cuspark. Well, for the boys, you know, I don't know how modern you could get for boys. I just love this coat. The center is a caribou antler cut into a button. Dogfish. This has a dogfish on it. The style is kind of up north. Cotsbury area. It would be very Yupik style. This pattern is significant for the Danana people on the west side. And I love it. The reason I picked it was because, you know, it reminded me of salmon berries. You want this one? Mm -hmm. All right. These are moose hides. They use these for vests or the Indian dresses or slippers. So this is the beaver skin, and then the, all the rest is moose hide. Gloves, glove tops, purses. A moose hide skin beaded bag. I've had this forever. Coin purses, keychains. Yeah, um, just, just some pretty much regular designs. and. There's a bear on the back, I think, too. Slipper bottoms, boot bottoms. A lot of the gust bucks are very contemporary now. A lot of different things. We got the cowl neck. Everybody loves those, the mm -hmm. young ladies. And it's not a long, mm -hmm. it's short. Oh, it's not as hot. I like the atik look. Yes. Style. Yeah. 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 The bottom. Can you explain that? Atik look is Inupak, Inuit. Kind of goes around and then it scoops up right. and goes around. Yupik is, you see the skirt. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll see more and more that the way that um, this one is where it's straight across the bottom. That's an increasingly popular style. Yeah. Well, she's going to try one on. <laughs> Quagaith, which is killer whale. No, you can try it on. Yes, yes. And the killer whale is said to be the spirit of a great chief who has passed on. It's a way for, you know, us minorities just to show off our culture right. and, you know, be proud of who we are and where we come from. And you know how the young girls are now. They want to be fashion forward. See, like we do have a coffin then have the facing. Some of the cloth cloth ones, I have also started doing them, the trim right on the edge without the facing. This is a much more simpler style. My grandma always made my stuff with black bears. I always liked the black bear. This is a chief's necklace, and these right here are dentalium shells. Years ago, these, these shells were traded along uh, trade routes that went as far south as California. They were extremely valuable. Our people would walk around with necklaces made only of these shells. And then when they would trade with others for furs or tools or weapons or clothing, they would cut off some of the uh, shells and trade with them. And so our elders told me that this was our money. My clan is the uh, Caribou Clan. And in our language, it's the Petish Tahatana clan. Porcupine quill inlay in them. Um, back has a raven, which is a white raven. Right, and the ones with the ruffles, yeah. <laughs> Each color means a different symbol, unlike the war, celebration, and the powwows. So when I wear my clothing, it's my opportunity to say, I'm proud of who I am. I love who I am.